Y'all want the Western Conference Reserve? Yes, we do. Oh, I can't wait to see Let's this. Let's start with Russell Westbrook. Indeed. Ninth All-Star selection, sixth straight. 26 points a game is number 10. Seven assists is number 10. Eight triple doubles is fourth. 13 games of 30, eight of those in January. Getting better and better, honestly. As he getting the rocket. The dude won MVP, fool. No, as a season. How about Damian Lillard of Portland? Fifth All Star appearance in third straight. This guy is fourth in scoring right at 29. He's number six in assists with eight. Multiple 60 point games. Uh, he joins Wilt, Kobe, Harden, Jordan, and Elgin Baylor with multiple 60 point wow, games. That's amazing. Donovan yes. Mitchell is an all-star for the first time yes. in his third season. Incredible. Utah 32 and 15. He's got 25 points a game. That's number 13. 14 oh. games of at least 30 with a high of 46. Another first time yes. is his teammate Rudy Gobert. Well deserved. Yes. It's his seventh season and he's an all-star now. 16 points a game, second in rebounds with 15, fifth Give in that. blocks, number one at 69% field goal percentage. 24 games of at least 15 rebounds. Surprise. Nikola Jokic, second straight appearance. 20 points a game, 10 oh, rebounds, well and deserved. six assists with nine triple doubles, number three behind Luka and LeBron. He's had three game winners this season, averaging 24, 11, and six this month. Chris Paul. There it is. For the 10th time, the first time since 2016. Wow. 17 points a game, five rebounds, seven assists, which is number 15. Shooting 48%, that's Ooh. as high for the last five seasons, wow. and better than a three to one assist to turnover ratio. And finally, it's Brandon Ingram who right. rounds it out. First timer in his fourth season, having a career year, 25 points a game, six rebounds, four assists. He's had nine games of at least 30, had four of those in his first three seasons, then had his first two 40 point games of his career, including 49 against the Jazz. So there they are, the reserves in the Western Conference. Shaq, your thoughts? I like the list. However, I would also reward it John Morant. Uh, youngster, they're in a spot. We want to talk about winning. They are in playoff contention. Uh, Thank has, you, a, has a lot of style, a lot of charisma. I like his game. I would have rewarded that young fella. Because remember, in high school and college, nobody really knew about him. Uh, you know, showed us what he did, and you know, in the uh, NC2A, and has not let us down <clears throat> this but, year. So I like Ja. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the list from last week. Uh, but you didn't have Ja on your list. I didn't. But uh, and but uh, and as I'm a still result, perfect. You got them all right. And, and, and you, uh, EJ. Yeah, you and me. That's a few, EJ. SEC. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. conference up here. How about the Devin Booker question? Well, I, I, I'm gonna go back to something you said. Um, I made a mistake. I, the only thing I would change, I would have put Brandon Ingram on my list. I actually forgot about him, that, so that's 100% on me. But I thought, listen, uh, no disrespect to Devin Booker, but John Morant should have made this team. Uh, they are in the eighth spot. There's not a single person, even in Memphis, who picked the Grizzlies to make the playoffs. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, and, and this is for the first half of the season. He's been an all-star. To have that team in playoff contention, and if, as we, if the season ends today, they would be in the playoffs, uh, I would have gave. I, I would have voted for John Morant myself. And Ch Chuck, be honest. Did you know about John Morant two years ago? No, nobody That's knew about him until last year. That's my point. Uh, so you know, when we get ready for March Madness. He, we get these packets every week on all the conferences, and they're like. And I tell you a funny story about this kid. <laughs> this is hilarious, Ernie. We're where are we at in the playoffs? Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah. And this little set. this little kid walks up to me and Ken and say, "Hey, Mr. Smith, Mr. Barker. Hey, nice to meet you." And me and Ken said, "Who is that?" Cause this dude was yeah. so little, and we said, "Who?" And, and I said, "I think that's John Morant." And I said, "No, he can't." <laughs> He's like, no, that's not John. I, and I said, I, I said, "John Morant can't be that little." Yeah. I was like, that's and we John asked Morant. somebody, and he left. He said, "That's John Morant." I said, "That's John Morant." And I'm like, "It was unbelievable." <laughs> but he, but he has been spectacular. I was pulling for him to make the All Star team. Uh, you know, I get some. Uh, you know, in Phoenix, uh, I get a chance to watch Devin Booker play. Uh, I mean, he's. I mean, it's a lights out year for him. I mean, he's, he's shooting 51% and scoring 27 a night. Mm. 
and well, 20 games of at least 30. Well, I mean, it's. Well, so what do you mean? He's Bradley Beal? No, it, no it, not it's, really. Because. It's kind of a, it's because kind of a they're, similar they're, thing. They're, they're, there. Eight, they're in no, the eighth I'm, spot, but they're in the 11th, no. 12th spot. Yeah, that's, but my, that's the only point I'm no, making. But I'm yeah, saying, they're number 11. But yeah. that, that 11th spot is only a get two games. Yeah. No, but 20 and 27. Yeah, it's only. But I'm saying, I'm saying, like, Booker and Bradley Beal got a hell of a. Well, no, Bradley Beal is not making the playoff. If if the Phoenix Suns go on a run, they couldn't make the playoffs. It's the, listen, I live in Phoenix. I pull for the Suns. They're not making a run? They're not making a playoff. <laughs> just please stop it. I'm just saying. I'm just stop saying. it. But I, I, I think that, uh, again, you know, um, Brandon Ingram, I, I would <coughs> that was my, I don't know if you remember saying, I said my, my uh, choice as the replacement for Paul George. So I, I agree with that because um, they're all hovering around the same thing. But the only thing, again, me, uh, with with, with uh, the Pelicans is we all thought it was going to be a total collapse as well. Total collapse without Zion. And the way that uh, he had, Brandon had played with the Lakers would give you no instinct to say that he would be this good this early for them. <laughs> uh, and, and I think that that's just a testament to show of his hard work. They're 19 and 29. Stop it. No, but I'm saying his personal hard work. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, but also you got to get David Griffin credit. Yeah. Uh, he put a nice team together. Uh, I mean, they got a lot of pieces from the Lakers, but he went out and got favors. Uh, but uh, Drew Holiday, is, other than Rudy Gobert, to me is probably the most underrated player in the league. Uh, so, th- th- but I still don't think the Pelicans. I don't think they can make up the ground. Are you are you coming around, Chuck, on on the Joker? Uh, I mean, let me, the three, let me, three, let, uh, three let, of the four of us had him on there. The coaches. Let, let me explain because I got uh, a friend of mine, Vanessa, was giving me a hard time about the Joker. First of all, you know I love the Joker. I think why I didn't put him on my list is because I did. Th- I don't think he's playing at an MVP level. Remember last year I had him for MVP. Yeah, he's played well this year. Don't but get do, but, me wrong. But do you have to play at an in, at an MVP <clears throat> level yeah, when to, you be, the, to when, be an All Star? No. Yeah. Yes. When you once you're an MVP candidate, you don't get to relax. I'm gonna hold you to that standard. I love the Joker. He was gonna make the All Star team, but I'm saying, I it, 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 people can put his stats up there. Last year, we talked about him for MVP. <clears throat> to he had me, a greater impact. He did at a by this point. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I will say that. But.